A symposium on disability held in Lexington this past weekend spent time looking at Appalachians and their unique issues. Organizer Mac Thompson said the symposium was an eclectic mix of professionals focused on this issue. So we really brought together people. Um, we got obviously doctors and medical practitioners and researchers, yes, at UK, but also just community members, people who are have disabilities and who are from like Eastern Kentucky and people in across Appalachia really, but especially Eastern Kentucky because obviously it was at UK. Um, and we talked about different issues that uh, people with disabilities in Appalachia are experiencing. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Much of Appalachia is currently considered part of what has come to be known as the disability belt. Because especially central Appalachia, um, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia some too, are considered a disability belt because so many people identify as having disabilities due to environmental um, factors, um, coal and um, health like, issues, as well as like access to medical treatment, um, making it like so you health gets worse before. And we really wanted to just have these conversations about how to support people that already are disabled. Thompson plans another symposium at some point, but has yet to pin down a date. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Lee Compton.